<sighs> well, good morning, guys. Um, so I'm gonna check the news, but I think I'm just gonna head outside for now. Should be nice out. Oh, there's my baby, old Nova. It's 396v8 in it. Big block. God, I love big blocks. Let's get this door shut. Oh, come on, shut. Dumb thing wouldn't shut. Oh, who's here? Oh, Cole's here. Hey, Cole, what's up, man? All right, Cole stopped by and asked me if I want to go hunting tonight, and I said, yeah, sure. Uh, I just got to make sure all my equipment's ready to go. Anyway, um, yeah. I was going to get the Nova out, but I think I'll wait a little bit. I'll give you guys a little tour. It's my house. It's got that one car garage, which I was squeezed to, but, like, literally with so much, it's so tight that I can't even get the tarp on one of my cars. I don't have that car anymore, though. It was an old Pontiac. Here's my trailers, kind of over here. I didn't have a place to park them, so I just put some dirt here. And then we got this old camper. I don't even know what brand it is, but it's a camper I used. It's nice on the inside. Decent. Then we got this old, it's a 1999 felling uh, utility trailer. Pretty good condition for its age. And, and there, I'm not going to unlock it yet. Uh, yes, I am, because I'm going to mow a little ATV path. Got my lizard big bear quad. Which I think I'm going to go try to buy the uh, three-wheeler my neighbor has off him. Because I haven't seen him ride in a while. And then I got my GS45 uh, walking mower. Walk behind. So we're going to get that going. I'm going to hop on the GS45 here. Fire it up. There we go. I'll idle up and ready to go. Let's walk it back here. It's kind of a hassle getting this thing out. Oh gosh. Uh, at the shop. I just walk back and do it. That hurt. Alright, I think I'm going to try to mow a little path for my quad. It is kind of early. Oh, I don't want to wake up my neighbor. And it's 7.30. just going to kind of mow a little path to ride on. Alright, here we go. I'll probably just go up to the hill. Turn around. It's cutting good. I need to mow my lawn bad. A little curve here. I need to build a track. I don't need to, but I've been wanting to. I keep putting it off because mainly I don't have a truck. I feel so bad borrowing my neighbors all the time. So I think today I might go look at a used truck. I could buy brand new, but I don't really need that. I got, I'm fine with what I got. I got my Nova and I got my quad. I got buddies with trucks if I need something. Anyway, that should be a nice little loop for now. No, just mow. The grass is like a foot tall where it is currently. I need a truck like Cole's. He's got an old 1994 F-150. That's the truck to have. I love that thing. Anyway, I kind of just did that kind of for no point, but not really because I want to ride my quad today. I didn't have anyone to go riding with. I'm going to go riding with Cole or hunting later. So we're going to take it actually. Probably why he's still here. We'll have to get to the trailer. Yeah, so I'm taking the three wheel. I plan to take buy it and take it. Um, all right, let's stick through the box here and see if I can't find my hunting stuff. All right, here we go. Let's test it here. Flashlight. Yep. Night vision. Perfect. And uh, yeah, scar. Yep. Works. All right. Let's not uh, aim it at the neighbor's house. We're gonna keep that down low. And most importantly, leaf blower. I'll blow off the driveway here. Oh, I'm gonna get all the leaves and crap off it. I picked a great early morning. <laughs> I'm doing this on a Sunday morning. When everyone's asleep. Gosh dang. Alright, let's put that back in the corner. Alright, uh, let's rip the quad for a minute here. And I'll ride over and see if they're awake. They usually get up at 6.30. At least one of them does. Put the quad headlight on here. Should be able to see the path I made. There it is. Couldn't tell at first. So it goes around here. Nice little single track. It's hard to ride at night with the one headlight here. Erd, I turned it sharp there. And then it was like a switch back. Yeah, down to here. Alright, yeah, let's go check on my neighbor. I kind of need a truck because when you guys see the 
roads in this town, you'll know why. Like, it, it's not even funny how bad it is. You could be going 40 miles an hour down the main road, just normal 40 miles an hour, and your truck will catch air, fly through the air like four foot in the air. Just because the balances. Or the bounce. Oh, there's my neighbor's truck. He's got that old 72 F100 right here. I think it was his dad's or his grandpa's. And then you got this 2019 Ram 5500. I think it's beaut. And then this three wheeler I was going to buy. I've talked to him about it before. Um, and I won't hop on it yet. I don't want to wake anyone up though. He might be out in his shop. Alright guys. He waved me over to the house. Him and his family were awake already. This is his other truck. I love this thing. It's a 1997 Ram 1500. It's got a Magnum V8 in it. Um, but yeah, it's a regular cab with like an eight foot box, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, he handed me the key. Handed me the key. And um, yeah, I'm going to take it for a rip here. Should fire up. It's Honda. It's a 1984 ATC 200X. And headlight works. You just turn the key one more notch. And yes, it does. Alright, we're going to take this one to the main road because I heard it's got no speed cap. Well, I guess most vehicles don't have that, but like it flies, he told me. here and see. Well, got kind of out in the middle of nowhere, honestly. Let's see here. Alright, here we go. Just gonna kind of lay into it here. Since it's not really warm. But I do want a clean top speed run. Hopefully I don't catch any air here. I might. I'm hanging on for dear life on this thing. They call these killing machines. I don't know why. They're pretty safe. I've never had any bad experiences with them. Okay, this is getting kind of sketchy here. We're hit pushing 70. Oh gosh, 80 is sketchy on a trike. Let's hit 90 before I slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, I've never pulled a brake lever so hard in my life. I was just cutting through brush there. We missed the turn. We caught some air and just flew through all that brush there. Luckily, I didn't hit any trees. I just mainly flew through the brush. That that hurt. You know what? We're going to get into town. Right. Oh, crap. Oh, I see why they call it a tipping machine. Or a killing machine. I don't get how it did it there. Not when I was cutting through brush at 80 mile an hour. Anyway, um, yeah. I got to show you guys main road. I've been his neighbor for five years. So, he knows. I guess he knows where I live, but he knows who I am, so if I were to steal it, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, um, yeah, this is it. It's gravel. It's my rose gravel, and then it's kind of dirt where they didn't pave it yet or put gravel or anything like that, and then it's back to kind of, I call it three-lane gravel because it's real wide, but it's gravel. Anyway, look, 40 miles an hour. I'm just going to casually ride around, ride along around 40 miles an hour. You know, this is normal, normal two-lane speed. This is even bigger than a two-lane. Oh, what's that? We're in a dang pit. Look at that crap. I almost got hit. Let's ride the middle of the pit here. Bouncing. Oh, down in another pit. Son of a gun. Oh. <sighs> okay. Pretty sure I just did a barrel roll. I might need to change my underwear when I get home. Oh, there was a giant drop-off there. It didn't even try. Gosh dang, look at that. It's like a skate park. Or at a skate park, you know, the, uh, I don't know exactly what you call it. Like the flowy thing that you go down in the bowl. Like a bowl at a skate park. Let's get pulled in here to my buddy's shop. Ooh, is that what he told me? He told me he got a new vehicle in. He kind of runs a, uh, this Lone Oak KC or ship here, but he has some vehicles for sale at another lot. I think this is one of them. Dang, that's a good looking truck. And look at this H&H &H trailer. All aluminum. 20, 20 foot, I'd say. 20, 25 foot, maybe. Dual axle. I guarantee this has 7K axles. Because it's a gooseneck. So, yeah, it's 7K axles. It's got the heavy duty um, ramp. Or not ramps. Um, oh, what do you call those? Trailer legs. We'll call them that for now. And then, yeah, what's this? I'd say this is... Anywhere from a 17 to a 20 F-250. It's an XL. No one, him. Yep, it's unlocked. 
Alright, it's got a touch screen in it, so it's not bad. Yes, not bad. It's got heat seaters. I literally was trying the whole time not to just say that. And I was thinking of the time I watched one of Grant's videos and he said that. I was like, alright, don't say it. I just said it on accident. I'm not even kidding. It's even got seat heaters. Gosh darn it. Dang, I might have to buy that from him. And it's power stroke. Alright, yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Honestly, ooh, there's bubbles. This is his favorite machine right here. Can't forget about good old bubbles. Good old bubbles. Oop, there we go. Bubbles. Look at that. Alright, that's enough hunting equipment. I think I better get back before I never think so I stole this. Or got hurt and killed, basically. I don't think he'd think I... I think he'd think I died before I stole it from him. Anyway, yeah, I don't have to give him a call about that, because that's a really clean truck. Anyway, that's too much for this one. Hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. You don't have to do anything, but it's greatly appreciated. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.